Okay, how you doing, man? Oh, uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Tough. You know, it's tough to really go out like that, but um, you know, it's not really much that can be said or be done right now at this point. Only thing that can really be done right now is, you know, the younger guys just, you know, get back to Iowa, get back in that weight room, and you know, really improve for next season. When, when does that point of kind of realization hit you that this isn't going to happen, and how did it kind of feel at that point? Um, uh, I'd say definitely when uh, when we threw those uh, that second interception. You know, I, 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 I kind of had a little bit of doubt, but you know, I didn't really want to go into that mindset, you know, but, you know, uh, there are some things that didn't really go our way um, this evening, and, um, you know, even even if things don't go your way, I mean, we always had a positive mindset, you know, it was never a F this or F that, you know, it was always a, like, staying positive, so. What's next for you? I mean, going back home for a few days? And uh, no, I'm actually uh, heading up to uh, Pensacola, Florida. To begin, I don't know, to begin my training okay. um, for the Senior Bowl, and then after that, head back to Pensacola for uh, preparing for the combine and pro days. So. Okay, you're going to go to the Mobile too, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so what's, um, I suppose the next few days, you're going to try to lock up with an agent? Now? Yeah, I'm at my, he actually came down today. He got who I'm going to sign with. He came down to the game today, so I think sometime tomorrow, I'm probably going to you know, sign that dotted line. So. So that, things are moving pretty fast. So. Is that the one with Carl, or is it a different? Uh, actually, yeah, the guy with yeah, with Carl, Carl, Kirk, 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 Christian Kirchy. Okay. So, you know. Yeah, they uh, they said good things about him. I remember when they went through it a couple years ago. Right. Did they did they influence you at all? On no, this? no, no, not at all. No, I mean, I mean it was just talking. Yeah, I, yeah I mean, I spoke to him a few times. I spoke to a, a lot of guys, um, but it was really just a matter of me really just doing my research and finding out who these guys were. You know, they also they represent like a lot of good guys in the league that went to Iowa too. So that was that's definitely a plus too. So. Did you? I know talking to heads kind of weird, but somebody like Brady Reed. I mean, he's they've talked about him making a lot of progress. Did you see that kind of progress? Yeah, definitely. He definitely made a lot of progress, especially from when he first stepped foot on campus yeah. up to now. I mean, it's like night and day. You can you can tell he's made a lot of progress. You know, even guys such as you know a Cedric Lattimore. You know, who's worked in, who's, who's worked his way into the two deep. Same with Brady. I mean, those guys just, you know, they really are, they're understanding what we're doing here at Iowa. You know, and, and they're starting to do things our way. So, you know, the more they do that, you know, the more of a good player those, those two guys will be. And then uh, on the other side, who's kind of a young guy? Alaric, maybe. Uh, Alaric, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. If he told me he was going to be in two, in two deep next year. I'm not sure, but you know, if he is, it wouldn't be a surprise to me. You know, he's probably one of the strongest freshmen that I've I've seen come through the program. You know, he's definitely athletic for his size. You know, he can definitely move. So, um, whether it be next year or a few years from now, he's going to be doing some good things for Iowa. Okay.